Hello, boys and girls. My name's Mark. I'm from Scotland, which is a very small country in the United Kingdom. Many of you may have visited there before. It's a beautiful country, and it reminds me very much of Poland, because I've been there a few times, and I love it as much as I love Scotland. Today, I have with me some very famous Scottish biscuits. It's called shortbread, and as you can see, it has a lovely tin here for it. And I'll show you the biscuits. One of our favourite Scottish delicacies. Now that's a big word for you. It's beautiful, very crumbly, sweet biscuits. And my wife, who's Polish, absolutely loves them. So, now I'm going to tell you a story which is very, very popular in Scotland. So, I hope you're listening carefully. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg, a little tiny egg, lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny, tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Oh, I'm so hungry! Oh, I forgot to tell you, he's a Scottish caterpillar and he speaks with a Scottish accent. And sometimes he even wears a kilt. <laughs> Ask your teacher what a kilt is. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry, I need some food now. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, two pears, but he was still hungry. For someone so small, he can eat a lot. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Oh, I need food. I really need food. On Thursday, he ate through four, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Oh, will I always be this hungry? It's no fair, said the caterpillar. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. How can anyone be so hungry? I don't know. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. Oh, I do love chocolate cake. It's so tasty. But I'm still hungry, said the caterpillar. He had one ice cream cone, one pickle. Now, maybe he got that from a Polish shop. You never know. One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. How can anyone eat so much? I don't know. One lollipop. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage. Oh, it's never ending. One cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, I just don't feel well. I think I've eaten too much, said the caterpillar. The very hungry caterpillar, who was hungry no more, then ate through one green leaf. Maybe he thought that would make him feel a bit better. And he did start to feel better. Oh, my tummy's not as sore as it was. Oh, I'm feeling a bit better, said the caterpillar. Now, the caterpillar was no longer little. He was a big, fat caterpillar. <laughs> He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a small hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Now, I hope you enjoyed that story, children, and maybe one day you'll tell it to your children. But for now, from Scotland, I'm saying bye-bye.